Crown's low in cholesterol milk is known to help take care of mom, so she in turn can take care of her family. How, you ask? You'll see. Oh, it's mine. I'm having the last piece, Bella. Period. Dad, what's his period? Oh, you see? Oh, the Bella, is... dear, a period is used to end the sentence. to eat that period. <laughs> Three crowns milk. Healthy moms, happy families. My Fit Life brought to you by Three Crowns Milk. Three Crowns, happy moms, happy families. Welcome to My Fit Life powered by Three Crowns Milk. And here we're at Fitness Options, a gym in where? A Kedja, but we have three branches actually. Okay, tell us so about the have, branches. So we have on the island, mm -hmm. we have in Surulere, and we have here, right here, in Lagos Airport Hotel. And Fitness Options is such a fantastic gym because my coach, Ivo, is the manager. <laughs> and I'm here with Ivo today, and she's going to be taking us through arm exercises. So, Ivo, we've had this discussion time after time, you know, about weight loss, loving yourself, loving your body. But today, let's focus on exercises that you can do either at the gym or at home for your arms. For me, my um, the areas of concern, I would not call them problem areas, areas of concern. <laughs> More like it. Are my arms, mm -hmm. I really want my arms to go down and then maybe like my tummy. I think I like my hips. Don't Just we like all? Arms, tummy, <laughs> and I'll be good to go. So let's talk about exercises for the arms. Okay, so um, we'll start with what we can do at home. Yeah. Um, I love the arm circles. I don't know if you've done that before. So we're just going to spread our arms. So stay, yeah, stay, make sure you're, yeah. Just, okay, so I'll stay in front, you can stay there. Okay. Or, no, no, let's stay this way. So now we're just going to, so like yeah, so you make your, ham, your arms firm and then try to go small circles. So make sure your, your arms are, stretch out wide and just go little circles like we're counting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and then we're going to make them a bit bigger. One, same position or same, yeah, 3, 4, 5, 6. Can you feel anything? Yes, I can feel Eight, the pressure. 9, 10 and then we're going to go all over so let me stay this way so you're taking your hands all the way back and bringing it forward that's one so take it all the way back and forward make your arms long and straight that's it two keep going three so when you come here you turn out and then you pull in that's it four yeah in yeah so that's a yes that's a real arm workout Inhaling and exhaling as you come forward. Inhale, take it all the way back. Exhale, bring it forward. Last one, in and back. So we're not done. We're now we're going to the other side. So you bring your arms out again, and then the other side. You just try to make it a bit firm, like you're carrying a little weight there. You just go one, two, see the difference? Five, six, you stay with me. You're not going anywhere. Then. Increase a bit, yeah, that's it. 10, 9, 8, 7, your feet too. So you're not stopping. 3, 2, 1, I know, now we're going all the way. So you go 10, let's go. Or should we do just 5? 8, okay, so let's cheat. 3, <laughs> 2, and the last one is 1. Excellent, so how did that feel? Very good. So you could do. 
one. Yes. I'm pushing it here. So this you can do, you know, three sets of 10, 15, 20, based on your fitness level, based on how much you can go. So just keep doing it, increasing. You can do 10, you can increase to 20, 30, and then do the sets. So you know, funny enough, mm -hmm. when I told you about arm exercises, I actually thought you were going to be making me carry weights or something. So it's actually like great to know that even without weights, without this is weights. More like using your body weights. Yes, and you know, the whole concept that people think that, oh, when I carry weight, I would build muscle, I will not become big, like, yeah. and that's not true. You only build weight when you, when you only build muscles when you increase the weight that you carry. So there's, there's a maximum um, um, amount that your, your, um, your muscles can take per time. So when you weigh or you carry 90% of that maximum, over time then you build but if you're not carrying up to that for example let's say 20 kg is my maximum right in lifting my maximum of one rep so if i can lift only once then if i take 90 uh, percent of that let's say 18 kg and then i do like four reps and then i repeat it then i would build but if you're doing like 2 kg 3 kg darling you're not building you're just Toning Tony. your arms. Yeah, so do not be afraid to use weights when you want to tone. And that brings you to the next arm workout. So grab your weights. Yep, yep. So let's do 2 kg. There you go. Yep. So we're going to do like the tricep extension. So you keep your knees soft, right? So you're not doing this. You bring your back. Yeah, that's it. Shoulders down back and then your, your yes to the side and then tricep kick back so you go one so you're squeezing this muscles when you inhale and exhale and press that's it inhale yeah exhale so this is it so you inhale and exhale squeeze in breathe in make sure you're pulling your belly button in towards your spine inhale and press back exhale stay with it okay for 10 so this is four and five are you counting or you're not you're trying no, to concentrate you're <laughs> seven almost there eight Ooh, feel the burn yes nine and in the tenth one we're going to pause so stay there and pause one two now this is the very difficult part here five six stay there eight nine ten I I yeah it. yes you are <laughs> Okay, so we can also do um, the bicep curls. I mean, that's the um, very common one we know. So you stay this way. Hip, your feet are hip distance width apart. Yes, facing forward. Don't stand here. Stand forward. Now the thing is, even if you don't have weights at home, you can use your arms to do it, or you can create your weights. Get a bottle of water. Fill it with sand, put stone inside, and then you can, you know, use it, and you'll be able to, right? Because it gives you that resistance. You might just want to repeat, um, you increase your repetitions. Like we did 10, you may want to do 15 or 20 or 30. Yeah, it's lighter, so you, yeah, so you increase your your repetitions. So it's just a normal bicep curve. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, pull up, exhale, down, inhale, exhale. Like this one, in. Also, let's take two more. Inhale, exhale, last one, in, and exhale. I'm sure you're already feeling like your arms are yeah. beginning to work. So the whole idea is you can, you know, create like a program with this. You know, the, um, then there's another one you can also do. Overhead press, when you just inhale, so it's working on your triceps. This usually tends to be the weaker muscle of the arms, right? So you just inhale, you press up and down. That's it. One, two, just inhale, pull your belly button in towards your spine. So most times when people are working out, they forget to engage their abdominal muscles thing is when you're working out 
with whatever exercise you're doing, you can also engage your abs and get it to burn. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, or we're going to work out with is the battle ropes. I know you love these ones. I love that. So get ready for the battle. <laughs> okay, so here we are. <clears throat> well, there are a couple of things you could do with the battle rope. Um, you can just slam make sure well remember when every time you exercise you must always have your form proper form so when you want to slam your battle rope you don't do this right yes, so you squat. squat yes yes and then get ready to slam it or you could go single or you could go to the side That's quite so you're going to try it. Oopsie. <laughs> and then when you want to challenge yourself even more, yeah. you're going to add the jump. Right? So this way. Well, make sure you keep your form. Yeah. So even now, you. over to you. Even you are panting. I mean, it's a workout so now. When I, pant, I will I pant, pant, of course. That's to show you're walking out. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Okay. Ready? Remember, you're pushing. Don't this way. Push your butt out. That's it. Slam it. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Now, single. Let's go, let's go. No stopping. <laughs> let's go. For the love of tone arms. Five, four, you can do it. Three, two, one. Yippee! Now, you're panting now, right? <laughs> so let's go. Side to side. Come on. So you take your leg this way. So come closer a bit so you can. Yeah, that's it. Now go. Good going last set fantastic and now we're slamming and even adding the hop let's go come on ready go or oh, double that's it two I think five three and well <laughs> four last one No, you can't even talk. <laughs> well done. <laughs> the thing is, for the love of your body and for the love of your goals, you will be able to smash it. That's the truth. Well done. Thank you. Well done. So let's talk about self-love and accountability. Because I remember that I was actually fitter than this. <laughs> A lot fitter. And then, I think sometime last year, I had an accident and I had to stay off the gym for a while and I was also off for like three months before I knew it was one year. Wow. And then the weight had piled up. Well, you know, I noticed that I needed a lot of momentum to even go back because it was more like I just got uncomfortable and I was feeling heavy, but then I was comfortable. And then coming back and trying to get my fitness back. You know, sometimes you so just that, that was, that's, that's the point we met, yeah? Yeah. Where you were... Yes, that's the point where we met, right? <laughs> so, you know, just that. How do you break through that, you know, that plateau of saying, okay, I know I, I want to be like this, uh -huh, uh -huh. but this is where I'm currently. Am I before she said where I am? Because I know I, I, I don't want to be like this. So, what thoughts can you share on how to just make sure that you keep pushing? Okay, so um, I will share my own personal experience. So yeah. I'm a mother of four children. And your last one and... is five months. <laughs> Okay, yes, you, you have a lot to answer <laughs> for. See your body. <laughs> okay, and let me just rub it in a yes, bit. And rub all it. my children are through cesarean session. Oh my goodness, okay, that's so, fantastic. You know, but one thing that um, 
over the years I have seen works and it's a timeless principle uh, well I shared two things you know the lost the law of success says is first within and then without right and then one of the things that somehow works don't ask me the science don't ask me the formula or how are you sure that this works I just know it works and this is it when you are able to put your mind where your goal is or how do I put it bring your desire to your reality and then walk from that point so, so in other words you're bringing the end to your present so like you have it may not sure. yes for example I mean let's let's say I'm a size okay now let me use myself when I was pregnant of course when you're pregnant you gain weight don't you yes. your body changes a whole lot th changes but you know while I was pregnant and while I was going through you know the phases and the stages I was already in this body <laughs> Mentally. yes I was already here so this has worked for me and I think this is something that works if you apply it you don't have to question it you just have to believe that this is possible and it will be so the first thing is this is what I desire I desire a size 12 be clear on your desire be clear this is what I desire now always always I repeat always 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 see yourself in a size 12 the moment you're not able to see yourself in that size 12 you say to yourself that you don't deserve it and when your brain picks that you will never get it so you must be able to see yourself in your new state even if that is not you and be comfortable with it then you know like the, you know, the, uh, there's a whole talk about the universe gives you the universe supplies when you place a demand and then this happens naturally it's the same thing here so I honestly would confess here that I have not really started working out actively as I should but this one thing I have done for all my children has worked yes I'm into fitness yes I'm a fitness instructor but I just said you know what I'll take my time so the thing is see the end believe that you deserve to get it then begin to reprogram your mind by saying affirmations you don't have to believe it but just keep telling your mind I am fit I am healthy you know I enjoy energy I love to exercise my body is you know fit my body just go on and on every single day so you should have a set of affirmations yes about your body. oh yes oh yes oh yes and with time your brain is now reprogrammed and then it tells your body one day you just wake up and you feel like yes I'm hitting the gym I'm getting this worked out I'm getting this workout done and then before you know what's happening you're just rolling and you know smashing your goals so in other way. words your self-talk is so important very important saying to yourself and then love yourself enough yeah, really love yourself enough. if you don't love yourself who will yeah you know <laughs> so at every size where you are love yourself yes. but then you deserve to be at your your fittest level and it is whatever possible. that is yes. yes and it's possible very possible just believe mm. See. Fantastic! <laughs> thank you, thank you. And this has been my fit life brought to you by Three Crowns Milk. And Evo here is my fitness instructor with a five month old baby. Like, can you believe it? Is it <laughs> really? <laughs> I will see you same time next week. Bye for now. We'll be right back after this short break. Three Crowns Low in Cholesterol Milk is known to help take care of mom so she in turn can take care of her family. How, you ask? You'll see. Oh, it's mine. I'm having the last piece, Bella. Period. Dad, what is period? Oh, you see? Oh, the Bella, is... dear, a period is used to end the sentence. to eat that period <laughs> three crowns milk healthy moms happy families what
Kids don't land with Maggie Mega Millions promo. Every week, lucky winners go fit win 1 million naira each inside this promo, plus other correct instant prizes them. Oh yeah, carry 100 Maggie star up at go to select places, and then go knock your scratch card where you go take win break at the credits and cool cash instant Me could bring plenty Maggie star up out, as that the person will bring Maggie rapper plenty pass last last. Go win this 1 million naira. This now from the 1st of October, go reach 31st of October 2019. Terms and conditions, they shall with Maggie cook the difference. So today I want to talk about stress, okay, and the role it plays in your weight management goals. Now, for some people they want to lose weight, for some people they want to gain weight, some people they want to manage weight. So we're going to look at how stress can impact on all that. But first of all, what is stress? Now, a lot of us undergo a certain level of anxiety, whether at work, at home, or, you know, dealing with our loved ones, we do it on level of anxiety. And then we find that we are stressed constantly. In itself, stress is not a bad thing because stress actually shows that you're human. Stress actually shows that you have um, normal emotions going through you. What then matters is how you react to your stress. Some people have very low threshold when it comes to managing their stress. Basically, there's a hormone in your body called cortisol. All right, Cortisol is what um, comes out, what is produced when you are stressed. So what cortisol does, it gives you feelings of frustration, gives you feelings of, um, you know, just feelings of stress, basically. And then you find that people who are stressed find it difficult to sleep, find it difficult to be happy, find it difficult to enjoy things that they normally would enjoy. Now, when stress begins to affect you in such ways as well as physically maybe you, you tend to start having body pains where you didn't have to have body pains before or you begin to have headaches then you need to check your stress and there are several ways that you can do that okay but let's look at how it affects your weight management goals now when it comes to gaining weight or when it comes to weight what matters is your calories the level of cal calories that you're taking in and the amount of calories that you are burning okay so when you're taking in more calories than you burn Burn, then you are more privy to gaining weight but when you are actually burning more calories than you take in that way you can lose weight now when you are stressed for some people when they are stressed they find that they tend to eat more okay because that is what actually keeps them up keeps them going and um, because again as I said they have they, 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 they have cortisol pumping all over their bodies so they have this need to make up for that so they find that they are eating more and they are actually eating the wrong things at the wrong time they can't sleep they are eating they need to work they are eating they have no concentration they are eating and they tend to eat junk again they, they tend to take lots of things that have to do with sugar um, saturated fats high cholesterol foods you know you find comfort in the foods that you eat and then you don't find comfort in healthy foods actually you find comfort in unhealthy food so you have the pizzas of this world you have the donuts you have the buns you know you have the cakes you have the chocolates you have the fries so you're taking all these things and you're trying to fill a void in your system and I'm here to say that you can actually beat stress there are so many things that you can do that can beat stress for you to avoid you gaining weight now there's a, there are other people on the other spectrum who lose weight as a result of stress all right because they are stressed they are frustrated their own way of dealing with it is not even eating at all so they don't eat food um, they, they they become in reclusive you know they hide away from people they tend to sleep a lot you know and you know things like that. in fact that they are losing weight now there are other ways that you can actually incorporate um, um, stress management techniques in your lifestyle that can prevent these things from happening one of the ways is understanding what your stressors are what are those things that trigger your stress that's what we call stress so stressors are those things that trigger your stress now it could be a, a, a friend that you have maybe there's a particular person the way he talks um, it could be your work environment it could be your home okay and it could even be the kinds of foods that you eat the kind of music that you're exposed to the kind of books that you read for a lot of people Nigeria as a whole you know stresses them out you know but because they are focusing on the wrong things so you need to understand your stress okay understand what your stressors are and avoid them okay and also make it a conscious effort to make healthy lifestyle choices when I say healthy lifestyle choices regardless of the stress that you're going through when you remember that you come first that you are number one your priority is you then you find that you're loving yourself and I always tell people when it comes to stress management you need to learn to fall in love with yourself let yourself be the the the, so the soothing balm that you need okay when you're going through anxiety or when you're going through a stressful time now it's not a reason for you to engage in unhealthy practices but learn to cultivate healthy practices 
stresses. Eat right, eat lots of vegetables. And one other way that you can help mitigate the effects of stress in your life is by engaging yourself in physical activities that are healthy. All right, take up a hobby that you like. If it's dancing, if it's um, jogging, if it's walking, if it's working on a treadmill, you know, but find something that can take your mind off that thing that is giving you stress. And again, something else that you can do beyond just eating right and, you know, working out is engaging your mind appropriately. Do not focus on the negative things. Always focus on, focus on the positive. Now, focusing on the positive does not mean living in denial of the negative. It's knowing, it's appreciating that even with the negative, you can actually surmount the challenges, all right? So I hope that with these few points that you're able to manage your stress and again, help your weight management goals. Thank you. My third life brought to you by Three Pounds Melt. Three Pounds, happy moms, happy families. Crown's low in cholesterol milk is known to help take care of mom so she in turn can take care of her family. How, you ask? You'll see. Oh, it's mine. I'm having the last piece, Bella. Period. Dad, what's his period? Oh, you see? Oh, the Bella, is... dear, a period is used to end the sentence. to eat that period <laughs> three crowns milk healthy moms happy families